Hi, Ed Diaz here. In the previous video, we showed you how to set up main stage inside the RD2000. But in this video, we're going to show you how to set up the RD2000 to change to specific main stage patches for you. Very easy. Follow along you, and you will not have to touch your computer to change uh, patches within a main stage concert. All right, let's get started. So in the last video, we created a couple of programs associated with mainstays. Let's take a look at them now. So I went ahead and created a mainstage template, and this was just to get me going. Uh, we went ahead and hold down shift, hit the zone edit, went ahead and told uh, external zone number five to send out MIDI uh, through USB. And remember, inside the RD, I also have MIDI out one and MIDI out two I could have chosen. So we set that up, and then let's exit. We also went in and we named that zone, that external zone, and I'll go ahead and hit the menu. We went ahead and uh, took that label for the external zone and named it main stage because chances are when you're using main stage or other externals, you're going to keep them in the same external zones uh, area. And this will let you know exactly what's, what's hooked up uh, to your RD and whatever program. Great. So we're all together there. And then we went and created a program that had a piano and string and main stage and we selected volumes and then we saved it there. So if we look at main stage, we see that that happened to be uh, the Celestial Voices. Well, watch this. We're going to go one step further inside the RD2000. So I exited out of performance and I went ahead and let's go ahead and touch right there. And you see it comes up and it says, Bank select one, program change seven. Watch this. Now, th we're going to do this a couple times so you get the gist of it. That's telling me if I can come into the RD, hold down shift to hit zone five because that's where I have main stage. So MSB is zero, LSB is zero. Program change will be seven. Watch this. This will be pretty cool. Now look what's happening. Do you see what's happening? As I'm changing the program, it's going to specifically go to that sound. Okay, so let's try another one. So I'm going to go back to my template. And let's say for this one, I am going to, let's choose, I'll turn it on main stage, an electric piano. Great. Great, I have electric piano here. And then bring up main stage. And maybe I want to go ahead, shift, Zone edit. I am going to pick a sound for main stage. Check that out. So I have that sound for main stage and I'm going to go ahead and press write it. I don't want to write over my template. Let's go ahead and call this funk splash lead or MS uh, funk splash lead. Let's, so I'll do that very quickly. Okay, so I have it named, so let's go ahead and press enter. And remember, we don't want to erase our main stage uh, template that we created. And, and you can do it however you want, but this is the way that, that I really like to program. So I have that first one we did, and now we're, we have a free program, initialized program. I'll press OK. Great. And so now, check this out. Watch my main stage. I'm going to go back to uh, program number two and it changed to that epic cloud formation. Now I'm gonna to go to program number three and look, it switched to that sound. Now let's do one more and I might go back to my template, however you wanna work. So let's go shift, zone edit, and let's look for another main stage sound. Maybe I don't even wanna use any of my internal sounds. I just wanna use main stage on this one. So let's go ahead and look through some of these real quick. Oh, let's do some basses. Oh, let's, here we go. That's pretty cool. So maybe we'll use uh, some kind of arpeggiation, pe arpeggiated thing. And you know what? Maybe I will bring in, bring in uh, my internal engine, but I'm going to go shift. And instead of it being a piano, maybe I'll bring in some kind of pad. So I have that one. I'll turn on number two. I'll bring in maybe some kind of string. 
Let's bring in number three. Oops, I accidentally turned it to external. Uh, here's, here's something cool. If I hold down shift and I hit internal, external, the, the bigger button, that turns it from an internal, which is red, to an external, which is green. So I still want it to be an internal. Select number three. I'm in that zone. And I'm going to go to this one. And let's go ahead. We have a string. I don't want that piano. Let's go ahead and find another sound. Maybe I'll choose something from the other section and press let's exit out of here and make sure that's highlighted because if I were to go up here and change it it's going to blow out all those sounds so let's go ahead and move this around and let's go ahead and find some kind of uh, synth poly key that's cool right there so we're going to go ahead and press enter and before I do anything else I'm going to press right and let's go ahead We'll call this one, uh, you know, synth layer MS or something like that. So I'll go ahead. Okay, so I went ahead and named this program Sim MS layer. I press enter. And now once again, I can choose where I want to save it within the programs. And I don't want to overwrite the template or that first one I did or uh, the last one. Here it is. There's an initialized program. I'll press enter. Yes, I am sure. Great. Now, what didn't we do specifically? Let's see if we saved uh, where that hypnotic synth base is. So hold down shift. We'll go to the zone edit here. And yeah, we did save it because we were, we were choosing sounds that way. So now we can go ahead and exit. It's there. So now we can just play. And maybe we can start go ahead and we'll use that main stage as our primary sound. And mixing our sounds, we'll press right again so it saves those volumes. Press enter, and that's still the same spot. Okay, so now look what we did. We can actually go in now and we can change, and let's, let's put uh, main stage and performance view. Watch what happens. Okay, here we go. So we had main stage templates, template, and we didn't really save anything for there. So now we'll go to that first one, the second one, and we have the piano string and main stage. Okay, and notice it went specifically to epic cloud formation. We'll go to the next program, which is funk splash lead. And notice once again, when I changed the program, the RD sent that, uh, that, change, uh, that change to uh, main stage. Okay, now I can go again and look, it changed and kept my volumes of my internals. So it changed main stage and also kept my volumes of my internals. quick and very easy. So give this a shot at the house. We're going to show you how to go even deeper using uh, main stage, the RD2000. And then also in future videos, we're going to use external keyboards as well by using MIDI out one and MIDI out two. All right, you guys take care. Try this at the house and we'll talk to you later.